Yo, what is up, bros? We are here with a special update to the Great Patriotic War Mod version 1.19. Special because it is the two-year anniversary of the initial release of the Great Patriotic War Mod. So, happy anniversary to the mod and the creator, the Conqueror. His channel will be linked in the description. Please go check it out. Throw it a subscribe. Um, so, being that it is a two-year anniversary... This is a rather large update. Um, so this is going to be a, a, a lengthy video, I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and get started here. There are five new added generals. FDR, Churchill, The Deuce, Chiang Kai-shek, Michael Wittmann, the Panzer Ace from Germany. And then, you know this is what I like. Fifteen new brutal missions. Now, to be able to unlock all of these, you need to play a mission that you haven't played yet. So, the easiest ones would be if you haven't played, like, Tutorial 2 or Tutorial 3. Play those, and then it will unlock all of them. Some of them will probably be unlocked, but not all of them until you play a uh, new mission that you have not yet played. So, instead of me reading through all these, you know what? Let's just look at them one by one. We'll check out the generals. And uh, we'll also try to take a look at all the change logs. I can't wait to see all the brutal missions, but we got to check on the deuce. I want to see my deuce. All right, there's Churchill. Pretty good tanker, actually. And there he is. The man, the myth, the deuce. And there is Michael Wittmann. Nice. And who else do we got? We got FDR, Chiang Kai-shek. Chiang Kai-shek. Good infantry general. I'm curious what FDR is. Oh, he's got, he's a bomber man. Oh, and I might add this because I just assume because the mod's been out for a long time, you guys know this, but occasionally there's still a person popping up asking this question. So let me say this right now. For you guys that are looking for medals and you ask, how do you get so many medals to buy all these generals? You purchase Vatutin. That's all you got to do. You're medaled up. And now the fun part. Let's check out some brutal missions. First up, we've got Operation Iskra, Allies Europe 3. 32 rounds for a 3 star. With the use of only 3 generals. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta take out a lot of stuff. And worse than that, all other Soviet troops, it appears, are controlled by the AI. Alright, just starting off, that looks brutal. You know, definitely going to need an economic general for one of those generals that you put down. Alright, on to the next mission. Next up, we got the Battle of Kursk, Allies, Europe, Four. So this must be a, like a highly updated version because there was one. Uh, they had done a little bit of work with the Battle of Chris before. 31 rounds for the three star with three generals. So we got this central leading force. Uh, that, actually, that actually doesn't look as bad as the previous one. But both of these look like it's going to take a long... These are like... At least 40 minute videos, I'm thinking. An hour long video without any editing. I bet these are going to be long. Next up, Battle of Kiev Allies Europe 5. 26 rounds for the 3 star. We get 5 generals this time around. Is that because we get a crappier city? No, it's still a pretty decent city. 
So we got the southern flank. We got Manstein on Kiev. Yeah, this doesn't look this doesn't look as bad as say Kursk or Iskra. But it's still gonna be a none of them look like they're gonna just be easy though. Next up we got Operation Bagration Allies Europe 6. The Great Soviet Offensive. 24 rounds for the three star, five generals. We got the southern flank again. Okay, the Soviets look outnumbered here. And we got a pretty, we got a crap city. And, um. Okay, this one initially doesn't look that hard, but when you think about the city you're starting out with, it's probably going to be more difficult than you originally think. We gotta go all the way to Mimmel. I mean, you really gotta count on your bros here. Next up, we've got the 100 Regiments Offensive Allies Pacific 3. Uh, so when I was talking about you need to play a mission you haven't played yet to unlock all of the missions, uh, like the ones in the 20s were not unlocked for me when I downloaded the new uh, update until I played, like I said, Tutorial 2 and then they unlocked. Everything else was already unlocked. Just the new missions in the 20s were all locked. So we are at 3. 21 rounds for the three star, four generals. Oh shit. Lin B. Noise. Hey, what? I don't get to control Lin B. Oh, that would that's brutal. That is brutal. Just tease me there. Show me Lin B, but not make him under my control. Next up, we've got the Battle of Britain Allies Pacific number four. 18 rounds for the three star with four generals. The Germans have landed. Lieb is in control of London. Guderian and Mainstein holding down the center. Looks like we got the reserve duties. Throw our generals down on these uh, Churchills and go to work. Hey, is this new? That skin? Huh. I know that the Navy was redone. I just don't remember in the last uh, update. I just don't remember that skin. Nice. Next up, we got the Battle of Benghazi Allies Pacific 5. 25 rounds for the three star, four generals. We got some Italians. Easy work. Just some cleanup duty. And then, as I, I just said this the other day about the Germans using the Italians as a meat shield. There it is. The Germans have their Italian meat shield to soak up some damage. Uh, yeah, so this one is... I know it kind of looks easy starting off, but look at the city you start with. You might need a meat shield to keep your good units uh, healthy over time. Siege of Tobruk. Allies Pacific 7. 24 rounds for the three star. Four generals. Damn, the poor Australians, right? Of course, all, all we gotta do as the British is break through the Italian lines. Not gonna be 
that difficult. And there the Germans go again, using the Italians as their meat shield. Siege of Malta. Allies Pacific number eight. Nice. This is interesting here. What? Oh, okay, we gotta take out... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I was just like, hold on, we only gotta take this? Yeah, this bro is gonna get involved. And we don't get any more units than just what we're given here. And the Italians got a big navy and a landing force. Battle of El Alamein, Allies Pacific 13. The Desert War getting some getting some love here. 27 rounds for the three star four generals. We got an Italian southern flank. Leby boy holding it down up here. Rommel. How's our city looking? I uh, mean we can throw out some artillery. Not too much income though. That's gonna that's gonna be a shorter one, but I, I bet it's kinda gonna be I don't know, a little bit difficult maybe. I mean it really all depends on your allies. How are they gonna help out? If history shows us anything, it's that you can't count on your allies. Battle of Tunisia! Pacific Allies, 14? Yeah, 14. Ah, we got the US here. And a pretty large battlefield. Um, Crap City. And they got Rommel on a tier five. With 3,000 health. We got a pretty decent force though. Plus the British coming in from the south. D-Day. Allies Pacific 18. 28 rounds for the three star. Four generals. There hasn't been a mission where you got a decent amount of generals yet. Oh my god. This is going to be a godforsaken bloodbath. Levy on Charbourg. Rommel holding out on Paris which is with, with his hot Parisian twitch thoughts. City that we got. I mean at least we can produce decent artillery. We got to get through this bro. No way. 8,000? Alright, he's gonna need bypassed. We're just gonna have to take our bros and like go the long way around or something. There's no way we're just gonna sit there and hammer on donuts for 10 rounds. Damn. Great Mariana Turkey Shoot Allies Pacific 19. <clears throat> 32 rounds for the three star, four generals. Oh, I was gonna say, where's the uh, Japanese naval force? It is to the south. So it looks like we'll be able to take Saipan and Mariana pretty quickly. But that's not gonna fall quickly. And we gotta make our way through all this. Health, 5,000, not too bad. Health, 5,000, not too bad comparative to what we had just seen. Operation Dragoon, Allies Pacific 20.
27 rounds for the three star four generals. Oh, getting a little bit of help from the Spaniards. All right, we got to make it to Milan. And as far as Leon, and you know, they're not going to help much. Model will wreck them. Uh, what do we got next? Defense of Hinyang, Allies Pacific 21. Chinese. All right, Hinyang. Holy crap. Damn, that's a big force. Oh no, and the city is crap. Okay, you might need a meat shield out in front of your artillery. That's going to be the one where you want to keep your uh, good equipment alive as long as possible. Next up we got... Operation Market Garden. Is this the last one? Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Mm, it looks like I got everything. Yeah, Operation Market Garden, the last one, Allies Pacific 24, otherwise known as the Waits Krieg. 28 rounds for the three star, four generals. Looks like this bro wants to say something. What do you want to say? You got something to say, Modell? In your text bubble? Alright, we get two forces here. A southern land force, the Alright City, and a more northern landing force. Actually, hold on. We control almost all of it. Besides, yeah, all British troops are under our control. We just gotta count on the French and the Americans. So on this last mission here, I just want to check out some of these updates to damage and units. Like the debuff units will suffer from attacking on anything but plain and desert. So, kill it's 25% less. This is a mountain which is 50% less for tank and artillery. You got a forest. Yeah, those are 50% lasses. So yeah, I went looking on here. They used to be like 10% for tanks and 20% for artillery. And yeah, same in the mountains. So yeah, it's changed a lot from the original. Remove the air defense skill from tanks, but added anti-tank skill to medium tanks and above. Yeah, anti-tank damage to armored units plus 65%. Yep, and your crappy little R35, don't get it. Increase mobility of armored cars by 60% with sniper skill. Okay, we got one right here. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh shit! Damage to infantry units plus 75%. That's a blast one. Tier 3 to tier 3. Yeah. That was even to commandos. Which have damage to armored plus 65. Yeah, that was still there. Damn, the movement of the armored cars. And then we got added machine gun skill to rocket artillery and super artillery units. Uh, I don't see it. Yeah, hold on a sec. I'll have to ask him about that. In fact, I'll do it right now. Hold on.
Oh, I just asked him. It is a four skill. It can't be shown, but it's there. And if we don't remember what that is, I think these guys have the machine. Yeah. So it'll be damage to infantry plus 55%. So I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. So, I mean, right after I upload this, I'll be playing Operation Iskra, which looked to be like one of the top hardest missions there were. Uh, yeah, but I'm just going to go in order and that's the first one. So I guess I'm stuck with it. So once again, um, in the description, boom, you will find a link to the Conqueror's video uh, describing this mod and in his video you will find the download link I won't be posting the direct download link to the game just to drive you over to his video on it it is the second year anniversary so subscribe to his channel like the video comment on the video and uh, that way he'll keep these updates coming Bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop, like, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Brumadotti, out.